Hi guys, today we'll be answering some of the questions you asked me so you get to know me better and yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so the most asked question is when will you go back to Italy and when will you film with your nonna again? I will go back to Italy in May. I haven't bought the tickets yet, but it's probably gonna be around the 15th or the 20th of May. But I won't see my nonna until August. That's the month that me and the rest of my family usually get all together to go see her. So we don't really see each other very often since my whole family is spread out all around Italy in different regions and and that's just the month that works for all of us to visit her and yeah I'm really excited to go and tell her all about the YouTube success that she had I mean I told her about it but she doesn't really know what YouTube even is so I just want to explain and show her everything and I think she'll be very happy so you will see vlogs with my nonna again in August but before that I will be in Italy for a few months as I mentioned I'm gonna go in May so I have a whole bunch of Italian content planned that I think you guys will love people ask me when I was born and I was born on the 13th of November 1997 I am 24 years old and and I'm gonna turn 25 this year, which is crazy. I can't believe it. I'm getting old very fast. And if you also ask me what my zodiac is, and I'm a Scorpio. I don't know much about zodiacs, but I know that a lot of people don't like Scorpios, which is really sad. Do you have siblings? And yes, I have a little sister. Her name is Martina, and I included her in some of my other videos. So if you go watch those, you'll see her. Can you give us like a background story on your family or parents? Um, yes, so my mom is from a tiny village in Moldova, which if you don't know where that is, I don't blame you. It's like a tiny country next to Ukraine and Romania. She was born and raised there in a little village where my grandpa and my grandma still live. She moved to Italy when she was 19 years old because she went to nursing school and she did an internship through her school that gave her the option to do it in Italy. She went to northern Italy where she met my dad in the region of Veneto, but my dad is actually originally from the south of Italy where I filmed my nonna vlog. So he's from the region of Calabria, but he moved to the north when he was in his early 20s because south of Italy is really poor and there's no job opportunities so he moved to the north to find a job and that's where he met my mom and they never got married to this day they're not married but they had me when my mom was 23 years old and then at the same time while my mom was pregnant they also bought their first business and yeah I don't know what else to say about them but that's kind of their story the next thing is an assumption that I actually wanted to address because I had a few people say that I am rich or that I come from a rich family and I know this might seem like it because my parents are business owners and there is this misconception that people that own a business and business owners are rich but that's so far from the truth, especially in Italy, most businesses are struggling and my parents are not an exception. You have to remember that my parents literally came from zero, they had no money from their parents and everything that they made, they made themselves. So they had to take a huge loan and a whole bunch of other debts before they were able to buy a business and maintain a business. Then all of the money that they made would usually always go back into the business. They were not even able to afford the house until four years ago when I first moved to Canada, that's when they bought their first home. And and even then it's not even a home it's just the first floor of a house so their home is just as big as my condo here that I'm renting. Throughout my whole life we rented something like 10 different places so we always had to move. My mom also works something like 12 hours a day because they're not able to afford a chef in both the restaurants so she just goes back and forth between the two restaurants and it's really stressful they barely go on vacation because they're always working. Me and my sister were never handed money like it was nothing. They would only give us money for things that were necessary and my parents are never really open about their finances with me. I feel like it's a way for them to protect me from all the stress and anxiety that they face. But being an adult now I can understand and say for sure that they're not rich. They're not even close to be rich and actually they struggled a lot with money problems. They say they're doing a bit better, but they're not rich at all. They're probably like middle class, I would say. Do you speak any languages other than Italian and English? Yes, I speak Romanian as well because my grandma from my mother's side pretty much raised me because my mom was always working, as I said earlier. She didn't have time to raise me, so she had to get her mom come from Moldova. She only knew Moldovian, obviously, when she first moved to Italy, and she would only speak Moldovian with me, so I know Moldovian, which is pretty much a dialect version of Romanian but it's pretty much the same language it's just a little bit more rough I guess even though I have to say that since I moved to Canada my Moldovian got really bad because I barely speak it because my grandma doesn't really have an internet connection so we speak really rarely and that's the only time I speak Romanian but I understand it perfectly and 
I think I know how to talk it pretty well, like I can get my point across. Somebody asked, why did you start your channel? So I started this channel as a creative outlet, kind of like a hobby, I guess. I used to make clothing hauls and I removed most of the first clothing hauls I made it's just because I used to speak with a very high-pitched voice, like my customer service voice and I'm just embarrassed about that because it doesn't sound like me. And then I decided that I would kind of branch out and start making videos about my life as well because I really like the idea of being older and being able to go back to my YouTube channel and see my life through videos. I thought that was a really good um, way to document my life I guess for myself and for my kids if I'll ever have kids So yeah, I started making vlogs and another reason why I started my channel is because I was hoping to connect with an audience or with people online Because as I mentioned in another video, I struggle with social anxiety So I have no friends here in Canada and the only person I talk to is my boyfriend So since it's so hard for me to make friends in real life I was hoping that I could make friends online and I can't believe it actually happened I'm so grateful for you guys that I can just go on my comments and connect with all of you. What content are you planning to post and how often? So I don't really have a specific type of content that I want to post. I want to just my channel be kind of like a mix of vlogs, um, fashion content because I really love clothes and then random videos like I'm working on a room tour that is coming out next week and then a few people asked me to make a video in Italian and I'm working on that as well. So it's just a little bit of a mix especially when I'm here in Canada and I can't film my Italian content that you guys all love so I just try to find things to film I guess but it's kind of hard because I'm also working here full time so I'm always trying to make content that fits with my schedule and like whatever I'm able to film during the week but when I go to Italy it's mostly gonna be vlogs and food content and I'm really sorry if my content when I'm in Canada is boring but I feel like my life in Canada is also boring, especially since I'm working, I barely have any time free to like vlog and stuff. So hopefully if I'll be able to quit my job eventually, I will make better content when I'm here in Canada. But for now I feel like the best content that I can make is in Italy because I don't have anything else to do but to film. And also how often I'm planning to post. Um, I am really trying to do my best to post once a week. Somebody asks, when you think or dream, do you think in Italian or English? Do you ever mix up Italian English words like passami and cheese? I actually, weirdly enough, always think in English and always dream in English. Unless I'm dreaming that I'm in Italy or I'm talking to my family. And I don't know why, because Italian is my first language, but I guess my brain is just used to speaking English all the time. Now. And I don't mix English and Italian words in the same phrase But I do find myself trying to convert an Italian word into English when I don't know the English word for it For example, when I first met my boyfriend, I remember this because he used to make fun of me about that I didn't know what the word for it remote was so I would call it the commander because in Italian the remote is telecomando so I kind of converted the second half of the word into English. I do that a lot. I try to convert an Italian word into an English word and most of the time it's wrong. A lot of people ask me why did I move to Canada and this is a long answer so here we go. So I decided I would move abroad when I was in high school because I had really bad depression back then after some traumatic shit happened to me and I felt like I needed a big change to fix everything and just kind of be able to start from zero and I felt like the best way to do that was to just move to a different continent. Initially I really wanted to move to the US because I had a friend in high school that had family in the US and she had went to visit them for the first time and she would just tell me all about how amazing it was there and everything so I was just convinced that it would be the best place to be and I tried to convince my parents but they weren't having it because they just thought of the US as a really unsafe place because all the media and all the news about shootings and then another reason is because um, it's really hard to move to the US or get a visa in the US and if you want to get a student visa there colleges or universities there are super expensive for international students they go for about something like 60,000 USD dollars per year so it's just insane like I don't know what kind of person is able to afford that but I and my family would have never been able to afford something like that so that was just out of the question and for a while I had given up that dream of moving abroad I just kept being depressed and all I would do is go in bed every day after school and 
watch Glee every day. This is gonna sound super stupid, but Glee actually helped me find motivation to kind of live again. And it also really inspired me to get into music. So I decided that I would start taking singing lessons and guitar lessons, because I was also really inspired by Taylor Swift as well. And for the guitar lessons, I found this girl through sort of like a Kijiji app. And we were taking lessons for like a few months before she told me that she was going to move to Canada. So that was gonna be the last few lessons that we were having and like a whole new world opened to me I don't know why I never thought about Canada but yeah she told me all about it and how she was gonna move there with this working holiday visa the last six months and it gives you the chance to work there and everything and so literally the day I finished my lesson I went online and I applied for this visa and literally two weeks later I got approved for it which was crazy and I told my parents about it and they were very supportive about that they liked Canada and they thought Canada was a safe country and yeah we just did my application and I moved here and then six months flew and I just really wanted to stay more I felt like I barely experienced any Canadian life because I was working a lot and so since I had to go to university anyways because my parents always wanted me to get a degree I would have rather get it here in Canada than go back to Italy and get it there and so I signed up for college and I stayed with a student visa and yeah that's my story of why I moved to Canada a lot of people also ask me what is your major and my degree is called digital business management and I took this degree because I always knew I wanted to work online and I wanted to be my own boss these were my two main goals and my idea behind taking this degree was that I was going to learn how to open my own online store and like manage it and everything and like how to run a business online and I was so wrong my college experience here was really bad I feel like if I went to university in Italy I would have got a much better education or anywhere in Europe really so yeah my college experience wasn't the best but yeah maybe one day I'll make a video about my college experience if I find the time to like write it and everything somebody asked me how often do you travel from Canada to Italy in a year so I used to travel before COVID twice a year once in the summer and once at Christmas for like a month each time but since COVID started I only go once a year for like a longer period of time so like last time I was there for three months a few people asked me do you want to continue living in Canada or are you planning on moving somewhere else back to Italy in the future? I am planning to go back to Italy in the future for sure. I don't see myself living here forever. I just know that I would be happier living next to my family. I have nobody here except for my boyfriend and I feel lonely and I struggle with a lot of mental health problems because of how lonely I am and how far I am from my family. I just prefer my life there and I don't really like the Canadian lifestyle I guess. And another big reason why I don't want to live in Canada long term is because my biggest goal is to be able to own my own home and buying a home in Canada is pretty much impossible it's just super expensive home sell for minimum a million dollars in the area where I'm living right now and it's just impossible for someone like me to be able to afford that and another big turn off for me is property taxes so like you have to pay on top of the mortgage something like five to ten thousand dollars a year for property taxes which I think is so stupid it's just like paying rent at the end of the day and I don't see the point for that when I could go to Italy and buy myself a nice home for 200,000 euros and I don't have to pay property taxes there because in Italy you don't have to pay property taxes on your first home so it just makes much more sense for me to make my money while I'm here and then go back home and buy a house there but I don't know exactly when I'll be moving back because I do have a boyfriend here and we are in the process of discussing how we're gonna do this and how is it gonna work and all of this so it's just a big question mark so far are you a Swifty? yes I am a Swifty. I have been since that Hannah Montana movie came out and she sang the song crazier on the movie which by the way is still one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs another big dream of mine is to go to one of her concerts that would be amazing another artist that I really love are Shawn Mendes Ariana Grande and I also really love older music like I love Bob Dylan I think he's a really underrated artist of our generation and I also really love the Beatles and yeah so my music taste is really random but that's what I like somebody asked travel plans for 2022 and yeah I know for sure that I'm gonna go back to Italy in May and I will be there until the start of September and then while I'm in Italy I'm gonna go visit my grandma in her village in Moldova and I'm really excited because I'm gonna vlog there and I can't wait to show you guys I used to spend all my summers there and it's just a really special place for me and I can't wait to share it with you and then after Moldova me and my friend and my sister are discussing where we should go we are thinking Greece but we're not sure 
sure yet. Either Greece or Spain we're thinking about. Dream travel destinations. So my top three would be French Polynesia first. I actually wanted to go and do a work away there after I graduated school, but it just didn't work out because of COVID. So I'm gonna do it once this whole situation is gonna be over, which I feel is gonna be over soon. So hopefully like next summer I will be able to do that. And then second dream destination is South Korea and third is Australia. How did you meet your boyfriend? We met on Tinder. I know, it's embarrassing. Do you prefer Italy or Canada? I actually like both for different reasons. I like Canada because I feel like it gives kind of everybody the opportunity to make a decent income and decent money. And then it's just a much more fair and regulated country compared to Italy. And I also really like the fact that it's a really multicultural country and the open-mindedness of people here. And about Italy, I just like the life there, the lifestyle. It's just something about living in Italy. It's a whole vibe that you can't explain. How would you describe your style and what's your aesthetic? So if I had to choose an aesthetic, it would probably be soft girl, I guess, because I really love pastels and just girly things. But I hate restricting myself to a specific aesthetic because I like experimenting with different styles and I have a whole bunch of different style of clothing that are not soft girl and I love them just as much. But definitely the clothes that make me feel prettier are girly clothes. But also if I have to be completely honest with you, I only wear a cute outfit like once a week and then the rest of the week I'm just wearing sweatpants and a shitty shirt. Where do you get your outfit inspiration from and where do you mostly shop at? So I get my inspo from Pinterest mostly, then also TikTok, like reels and stuff. And I would say about 50% of my clothes are thrifted and the rest is from like random stores. Like Princess Polly, I used to have a really bad addiction to Princess Polly when I started making my own money. And then like other random stores like Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, Aces, Subdue, Bershka. Favorite color? Pink. Um, and then second color probably like baby blue. But any pastel colors, I love. Are you a Christian? Yes, technically I am Catholic. I got baptized and I did my communion and confirmation, which was in high school. But then after that, I barely ever go to church. I only go if like my grandma wants me to go or if I'm attending somebody else's confirmation or communion. And I just kind of stopped practicing because I don't really agree with a lot of Catholic ideologies, which might be a surprise because you guys saw my grandma's house. It's just full of religious figures. Both my grandma's grandmas are extremely religious but my parents are not that's why I feel like I was kind of skeptical about religion growing up I'm just going by having a clean conscience and being the best human you can possibly be and just kind of improve myself every day what is your weight and height so I am 5.2 feet tall and I think my weight is like 130 or 132 or something like that but I don't know why that matters. How do you make money? So I am a waitress full time at a restaurant, a fine dining restaurant in Toronto and I'm also making money through YouTube now, which is crazy. But I am planning on quitting my uh, serving job if I reach 100,000 subscribers just because I feel like I cannot be making good quality content while working at the same time. It's just super hard and stressful and every week I'm like so dead because I'm constantly working. I don't even have a day off because I'm trying to do both at the same time. I have to quit eventually if I want to escalate my YouTube career. What's the camera that you use to vlog? So I use the Canon 80D for sit down videos like this one or like clothing hauls. And then for vlogs I use my Canon Mark II and my iPhone which is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. When I vlog I mostly use my phone just because if I'm outside it's less awkward to pull out my phone and film. How did you feel when you first moved to Canada? I was so excited. I felt like I was living in a movie for the first month and then when my dad left me because my dad came with me when I first came here I felt so scared and lonely and just out of place do you like girls <laughs> no I think I'm straight unfortunately what's your favorite Italian food my mom makes the best pasta with lobster and pasta with squid ink which is amazing I'm gonna have to show you when I go back to Italy do you work out and how do you stay in shape so you actually don't work out sadly the last time I I work out was when the first COVID lockdown started in like March of 2020. I just hate working out. It actually makes me depressed. Like you know how some people after they work out feel 
better and like more energetic like I feel depressed what do you use to edit your videos I use Final Cut Pro for the editing and then I also use sketchbook for my thumbnails do you read books and what are your favorites I do read books but I started like a year ago or so and I don't have many recommendations I am just reading books based off recommendations that I get on TikTok. Actually right now I'm reading The Life of Harriet Tubman because I watched the movie recently and I was just so amazed by her story. But other than that, I usually just read TikTok recommendations. And so I don't feel like I have amazing book recommendations or any like particular favorite. What are some of your long-term, short-term goals? Short-term, just keep making YouTube videos, I guess. And long-term goals, buy my own home with a big yard where I'm able to have my own hobby farm. That's my dream. Favorite movies and TV show? So favorite movie that is not a Disney movie, um, it will probably be Lion. It's just an amazing, mind-blowing story. And favorite TV shows, it would probably be Glee, Gilmore Girls, The Vampire Diaries, Ugly Betty, and Stranger Things. You guys don't understand how happy you make me when you tell me that I kind of look like Millie Bobby Brown. I love her. What's your Myers-Briggs type? So I took the test a few days ago because I didn't even know that this was a thing and it turns out I'm INFP. I don't remember what it stands for but I read the description and it's really accurate. Favorite YouTubers? I'm gonna put them on the screen because I feel like I have a lot. Was it difficult to get used to living in Canada? Yeah, it was really difficult at first. It's just because I didn't know English really well and I kept on embarrassing myself by saying things wrong and just a whole bunch of different culture shocks. I just felt like I didn't have the Canadian social skills to communicate with people. Like small things like people would come up to me and be like, what's up? And I didn't know what to reply to what's up. So I would always be like, good and you? They would be looking at me weird and stuff like that that would make me really insecure and it just made it hard for me to feel like I belonged here. Do you have an Instagram? Yeah, I do have an Instagram, but I barely use it because it just gives me really bad anxiety. I start comparing myself to all of the girls I follow, but I am planning on starting being active on there soon in the next few months because I really want to use Instagram as a way to update you guys. What do you think about pizza in Canada? I think it's good if you find a good place to eat it at. I'm gonna post some of my favorite pizza places here in Toronto, but also some pizza places here in Toronto just disgusted me. Like they use sour cream or like barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce, which I thought it was just shocking. You really have to find a good Italian authentic place to eat your pizza. Does your family live in Canada with you? No, I have no family here. I'm all alone and it's really sad. I miss them a lot. Does your boyfriend live with you as a roommate? Yes, we live together and we also share this room, believe it or not. He let me decorate this room however I wanted because I have never had my own room growing up and I just always dreamed of having my own room decorated how I wanted. I always shared it with my sister and also this room is kind of like my office is where I spend literally most of my day in because I film in here and I edit in here and he has his own office space in the apartment and he also decorated the rest of the apartment so this kind of balances between my style and his style and that's why I won't show you the rest of the apartment because I hate how it's decorated. Do you have favorite Italian shows or movies? And I don't really watch Italian movies or shows, but I will recommend you one show that I used to watch when I was in middle school and that I really loved. It's called I Cesaroni, but most of the time I just watch American movies or shows. What is your go-to snack or meal for lazy days? So if I'm having a lazy day, I will probably just get takeout. I'm not even gonna make myself anything because I'm lazy. And usually it's like bubble tea or pad thai. Do you watch Ghibli Studios? If yes, what's your favorite one? Yeah, I love Ghibli Studios. That's the only anime that I actually watched. My sister's really into anime and she watches all these different types of animes, but I only ever watched Ghibli Studios and my favorite one is really hard to choose. It would probably be Totoro or Howl's Moving Castle. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for even asking me these questions. I can't believe anybody even cares about my life and I hope I answered most of them. And yeah, I hope you liked this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!